Turns out that's still messy from the last time, huh? <laughs> Hi! Ooh! I decided to stretch and say hi at the same time and my spine clicked in like six different places. That felt good. Hi, 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 hi. Where is chat at the moment? Okay, I remember now why chat keeps being in weird places because this screen shoved it up here. One second. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> okay. Previously. See, so. I was getting this ready yesterday, I announced it and everything, and then it turns out I, almost, I, I deleted the save. But it turns out that was the second save file. <laughs> so I'm feeling good. But then, I forgot what we did last stream, and it turns out there's a little... There's a cheeky little bloody, like, previously on Professor Layton and the, and the, and the wizard, or whatever the fuck it was. There we go. Our story so far. Having finally returned to Rainhold Manor with Claudia in tow, Leighton and Luke are horrified to discover that a murder has taken place during their absence. Waiting for Luke and Leighton at the manor, the police detective Inspector Chelmley. Oh, is the police inspector. Just shut up. Upon receiving a report of the murder, he has raced to St. Mysterie to conduct an investigation. He has a suspicion about Luke and Leighton. Shortly after the murder, a servant to the Rainhold family named Ramon goes missing. At Lady Dali's request, why am I doing this voice? <laughs> okay. Uh, set out to gather information about his whereabouts. We have to go find Ramon. Coins, nice. What a lovely vase. Oh. Why does this game run like shit when I'm live? <laughs> Weird. Mm, sorry. I think I can save some space if I do this, actually. I don't know if that's any better. Okay. Hmm. Cool. It's a picture. Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, isn't that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. That baby must be Bar Baron Rainhold's daughter, then. Flora was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Lady Dada hasn't changed much, has she? You know, Luke, they say true beauty never ages. I suppose so, Professor. But even so, it makes me wonder. Maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. I don't remember the voices I did last time. I'm assuming Luke's a British little kid, right? <laughs> Whoa, better make sure I don't knock that over. Do I sound Australian? <laughs> the entire garden is visible from the window. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here for us. Girl, this game really do be sounding shit. Okay, come here, fake gumshoe. By the way, Mr. Layton, I hear you're something of a puzzle connoisseur. This puzzle was popular in London when I left. I wonder if you have what it takes to solve it. Okay. Five suspects. Did we do this one? Okay. Five sus suspects according to police headquarters for questioning. They give the following statements. Oh god, I've just realised this is a puzzle game. Girl, why does it sound like this? Is it performing worse than last time? <laughs> da 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 da. Hmm. Sure, let's switch to this. Oh, I don't wanna... Okay, I won't do that. Okay. Oh, did the sound just completely go? Oh, no, it's, it's frozen. Oh, it crashed! Fantastic. Good. Good for me. One second. I wasn't really feeling today as it is. <laughs> For sure, let's see if we can get this working again. One second. This is a legit copy. I swear. I'm not lying. Okay, we're gonna have to skip through all that stuff again. 
So currently I've had a project, we can skip through all this, um, to help me with streaming and to widen my library as well as my stability with running certain games. Shut up, we really did spit. Um, yeah, and this is a good argument for that. <laughs> Because I realised I could play that on my new way. Play this on my new way, but I don't know necessarily how you do the bottom screen. Which is why we're not trying that today. <laughs> Plus also I figured I probably should finish a game one of these type days, because I haven't finished a game in ages. Okay. One of five of us is lying. Two of five of us is lying. I know these guys and three or five of us are lying. Don't listen to a word they say. Out of four of us or four of us are lying. All five of us are dotten, rotten, dirty liars. Well, it can't be E, because if all of them are lying, that person would also be lying. So it can't be E. Don't listen to a word of us I say, out of four of us, four of us, five of us, four of us are lying. That would make it so that person's also telling the truth. No, not telling the truth. Because four... Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's three. No, because then four's all, these also gonna be a lie, but if he's lying, then it's not. Oh god, I hate this game. Okay, I'm gonna say three. We've got three chances to be wrong, I think. How do, am I. Am I circling C? Oh, right. <laughs> there we go. Fuck you, Layton. Okay. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Try to think like a detective and look for inconsistencies in the statements. No, I will only g give my first answer I come up with. I mean, is any. F oh, God. Okay, no, the answers are still the same. So I can just cheese this. That's the worst two I've ever done. <laughs> that should do it. That should do it. Girl. I suppose I thought wrong. What am I? <laughs> what am I doing? What am I supposed to be giving? How about giving the quantity they give? One of us is lying. I. So it, it's just, I don't understand this one. I mean, I could. I just don't want to. <laughs> there we go. See, first time, flawless. Another puzzle solved. Okay, that's right. Every suspect was accused of a different number. If everyone, anyone was telling the truth, there had to be one suspect. No more, no less. Right. Okay. I understand now in retrospect. <laughs> hmm. I suppose I should have given you a tougher puzzle to solve. Best to use that brain of yours to find that golden apple everyone is a buzz about. You found a strange gizmo. Cool. What's she got to say? Pardon me, but we happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a moment ago. I beg your pardon? The picture of you holding a baby, the one that sits in, next, uh, in the next room? I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. Huh? My apologies, ma'am. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. You go find her a moment and bring her back, would you? If that's not Lady Dahlia in the photographs, then who on earth could it be? I think we'll do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he can clear this up for us. Can I get a uh, one child grilled wizard? Uh, no, they're medium rare and there's only one and it's me. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> I do a sip, I'm sorry. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, give me them coins, baby. That's not what I asked for. Yo, this isn't our restaurant. This is a Denny's. Hi, how's it going? I don't know what they serve at Denny's. Look, there's a puzzle hidden here, Professor. 
I realized I booted this up and we're not in a puzzle solving mode. <laughs> so this is going to be angry puzzles. Okay, no, I like shaped ones. Okay. On the table below, there are four cubes made of matches. Can you change the four cubes to three by moving a single match? Damn, girl, this match single? Okay, this touch things in the way. Okay. Fuck, I realise I don't like these. <laughs> My day is reasonable. I've done a bit of work and I have a lot. Uh, I have more to do, but not the information to do it, so I wait. Good. You wait. You're doing a great job. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm chilling. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really feeling it today, so I was hoping that maybe I'll feel it if I get into if I if I start. <laughs> I'm trying to look at this, and I'm confused already. Four cubes into three. Huh. I feel yeah, sometimes it's difficult to suss out the vibes. Yeah, the vibes are weird today, I don't know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a weird one, I don't know. <laughs> Can I rotate any of these? Or do I just move them? I can't remember. You told me last time. Can I move you, rotate you? No, I can't. Not in this one. Okay. Cubes. So I can get rid of this one, but then it turns it into a cuboid, and not a cube. But I don't know what this game thinks a cube is. Fuck it. <laughs> I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Why, Professor? I'm, I'm a so moron. Okay. An arrangement with matches. Fool your eyes and think you're looking at four cubes. Can you fool your eyes into seeing three cubes instead? I'm gonna squint at it. I'm ready to squint. Bring me the puzzle. Silly little dog. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. How do I see three cubes? I'm squinting too hard now my eyes are watering. Ha! No, that's not working. That's not working. <laughs> three cubes. I like indignity. I think I'm an idiot. These streams make me feel stupid. Change four cubes into three by moving a single match. Damn girl, are these matches single? <laughs> Fucking stupid. But I would not finish this game as a kid. I don't know who this game is for because it's apparently seven year olds. It's like... What? Oh, did you see it? That's a cube, that's a cube. Oh. Although then it's still missing that gap there. But that's still three cubes though, right? Do you with the top middle one? There we go, maybe. Are we Nope? <laughs> oh, I was sure I had it. See if you could rotate it like like in the previous puzzle with the matches. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a hint. The matches are arranged so they appear to form four adjoining cubes. Can you rearrange the things to make one of these cubes disappear? Oh, you mean the the question that I've been asked in the first place? Wow, that was a waste. <laughs> Can't be blamed because you did it first. Shh, shh. <laughs> it was not a hint. That's literally just the question, just in like with two words switched. If I just move stuff, maybe they will look less cube-like to me. What is a cube? Who knows what a cube is anyway? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is for children. This is a children's game. That being said, Lizzie is a massive Professor Layton fan, so... We need Lizzie on the phone. 
Hint number two, let's go. <laughs> Four cubes appear to be arranged in two rows. The first row has one cube, the back row has three. You need to get rid of the middle cube in the back row. That's what we did. Kill that cube. Yeah, because we did that, but then this back cube here looks shit. This is not. This is not me. Can I definitely not rotate them? I. I. Oh, you can rotate them. You could let me rotate it earlier. God damn it! I tried. I swear. <laughs> I literally said about rotating them. How does it sound? Fuck you, Luke. Fuck you. They throw him into the fucking sun. Thanks, B. <laughs> I did try to rotate, I swear. I just couldn't remember how you did it. <laughs> no, I believe you. I know how fitting these games could be. Thank you. Thank you. I feel validated. Hi, Rose. How you doing? Yes, we're in We're in the the, the puzzle zone again. <laughs> Piece of cake. Now let's go find more puzzles. Fuck you, Luke. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That was a bonus one. That wasn't even a real goddamn puzzle. Okay. We need to go find Ramon. Hello. How you doing today, Rose? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yubi! Why is that a monkey? Sure, why not? <laughs> ah, Matthew. Do you have a moment? Certainly, sir. How could I help you? It's about the picture of Lady Dahlia upstairs, the one with her holding a small child. Ah, oh, yes, about that old picture. That's not Lady Dahlia, I'm afraid. It's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. Did you? Did Baron Re Reinhold fucking whatever you say his name? Marry his wife's sister? Because that's... Sus. Anyway... I've been doing, trying to do fine. Results pending. Oh, bless you. I hope things look up for you. You're a good egg and you deserve good things. And I appreciate you. It's a weird time. <laughs> but I certainly understand why you would respect, uh, mistake one for the other. They were virtually identical in their appearance, their gesture, and even the way that they moved. So that photo of Lady Dahlia isn't of Lady Dahlia, but of an earlier wife of the Baron. Wow, imagine finding someone who looks just like you. What are the odds? I can't read today. <laughs> I should do the... I should do some vocal warm-ups. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shell she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Because if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure. She's a she sell... Fuck. Seashell seller. <laughs> Everyone join me in doing some tongue twisters. Because... I need to get my my talking voice on. I should have done this before the stream. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're blowing you all the kisses and all the fingers crossed. But you, Rose, you're a very good egg. Is it harder to toot or to toot a two, toot a two toot? I hate that. Brisk, brave, brigadiers, brandish, broad, bright blades. Brisk, brisk, If you must cross the... If you must cross a course, cross, cross, cross cow. Be Betty bought a bitter butter before Betty butter bought was a bitter. I hate this. I hate this. Why am I doing this? Can you... How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How clam... <laughs> I give up. We're just going to fumble all our words. Okay. Is there a chance that two were relatives of one another? I've never heard of anyone, anything to suggest as much, sir. Why Why would you not think that when they're identical? Okay. Just happened one day, Baron arrived home and at your side was Lady Dahlia. I'm so damn tired of dealing with government shit, I believe you could have relate. Yeah, world, world's fucked. Eat politicians, throw them into the sun. And together, society will thrive. There. I recently have put a limit on my TikTok f uh, usage, like it cuts off after a certain amount of time, and it's annoying because the limited time I have on there is just bullshit shit that people have said in Parliament and it just makes me want to scream and yell and kick and fight and bite people. Um, <laughs> we hate the government in this house, we do. We fucking do. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh dear. 
I'm sorry to say that all I really know about the matter. Pro tip, set the time limit to three seconds. I just want to see my funny little songs that get stuck in my head. Why did Steam just open? Bro, get out of here. But instead, it just makes me sad. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Not at all. You've been most helpful. Thank you, Matthew. Ow, what? The more I hear, the stranger the whole affair starts to sound. Lady Dahlia was added to your list of mysteries. <laughs> Get in my pocket. Okay. Uh. Oh, have we gone upstairs? Oh, yeah, we did. Anything in here for me? Ooh! Baron Augustus Renhold. Incredible. Incredible scenes. The chandelier cast a glow or something. A lovely warm glow. I want my I want my extra play coins. Oh, there's a basement. Is it a basement? I want to go down there. <gasps> Cat. Oh. Hmm. Meow. These are. These are Simon's glasses. Who was Simon? Do you remember who Simon was? TikTok is necessary for Pedro Pascal edits. <laughs> Listen, I don't even go to Pedro Pascal, but I can appreciate a handsome man who seems very sweet and goofy. <laughs> Probably gonna go look and not be able to look at the puzzles this time playing Yakuza 7's finale as we speak. Yes, Simon needs nuts. <laughs> I hope Yakuza goes well. I really want to play them again. Exciting development. So my Xbox died, didn't it? I bought a new one. It hasn't arrived yet. Turns out Xbox units by themselves, if you really got the cables and the controllers, are quite cheap. So I will be playing them again soon. We love Yakuza. B, can I say something really funny? You, yesterday I was scrubbing for a VOD for some reason. And I was talking about Yakuza. And a, you said in the chat specifically, I don't go to Yakuza. Fun for, uh, I'm sure one of these days my time will come. <laughs> And look at you now! And it made me smile. Because <laughs> you are going to Yakuza now, and that makes me happy. Anyway, it, it just made me smile. Um, yeah. Simon these nuts. Your time has come! Your time has come. And it, yeah. <laughs> you knew, you knew two years ago this would happen. And finally it's coming to fruition. Mix it! Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But how on earth did I end up here? This could be a key clue in the investigation. I think it's best to report this to Inspector Chelmney. Two years ago, huh? Um, it was, um... Yes, it was my anniversary stream tier list. <laughs> I was talking about Yakuza then, because I did stream Yakuza 2 Kiwami on stream for one session. I mean, we had a Yakuza conversation. But yes, two years ago, you said you were going to play Yakuza. <laughs> Yippee. And then I remember how much I've been streaming and it was... I haven't achieved anything. Anyway, what's the matter, Mr. Layton? That's not the voice I gave him. Inspector, take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. What the? Hmm. I imagine it simply fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. Two years ago, we knew what was up. Truly, they did. And look at look at you now. You you planted them seeds all them years ago, and they're finally growing into a beautiful I don't know what the end of the sentence was. I was hoping if I go high pitch enough, something will come to me. Maybe I could have like received a signal. It didn't work. <laughs> Wait, there's been a pandemic. We don't measure ourselves by the f <laughs> by what we achieved, by the fact we're still here. True. I missed, I missed being back in the pandemic, where you were doing good by not leaving the house. The sense of accomplishment by of not doing anything, and how that was good for society, served. <laughs> uh, ba ba ba. Besides, oh wait, that's not the voice. Besides, if you have enough time to manage the lost in village, softer, softer found. Yep. Yeah, mhm. Mm Shouldn't you be searching for the Renhard inheritance or whatever you're supposed to be doing? 
Of course, if you continue to interrupt my investigation, I have some ideas of what I can do. What you can do. I really can't read. My sincerest apologies, uh, uh, Professor. In Professor? Inspector? Who am I talking to? I'm really bad at this today. <laughs> I don't like that shell me one bit. Okay, I'll leave a tiny look while I do some editing. I will occasionally try and help with some puzzles if I can. Thank you, I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you... Your editing goes well. Is this for your for your cheeky little video essays, possibly? Tee? Um, but yeah, hell yeah! Thank you, thank you for hanging out. Regardless, it, uh, blah, 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 blah. he reeks of smoke and he's so full of himself. And the way he treats you, Professor, it's too much. It is, yay! Clap, 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 clap. Hell yeah! I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see. Look, my boy, paid no mind. Right now, we have other priorities. Let's go ask around town and find Ramon. Okay. The hand lies to me. This is what I'm learning. Oh, there's an old lady. Hi. Look at you fretting away there. What is the matter? That was painful. Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Ramon around here today? He was here until just a while ago. Now, I can't say I've seen him today, which is strange considering how often he sneaks off the job. But enough of that. I'll hear you here. You're quite an ace with puzzles. Would you mind helping me out with a puzzle I've been mulling over? Oh, right now? We're sort of in the middle of something right now, but if you insist. This is the first time Leighton has resisted someone's puzzle, like, proposal. A man died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One line puzzle, number one. Have you heard of one line puzzles? The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without lifting the pen from the pad or retracing part of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Now you're familiar with the concept, look at the four pictures below. Which of them can't be drawn with one line? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Not that one. Oh, these house things, these are like... I feel like... Every kid ever has had like this thing of like... Trying to draw one of these without lifting the pen. I have a feeling it's the house at the bottom. Because that's always the thing, isn't it? How'd you get up there again? I'm going to say it's this. Because it's normally this. <laughs> I'm not even going to try the other one. Do it. Yippee! Logic. I'm not even logic. I just remembered. I just remembered that doing those are difficult when it's the weird house window thing. Nice. Oh, that's how you do the car one. And I wasn't even going to try that. Top left, uh, right one. Top right one. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's actually a very easy way to tell whether or not a picture has been given drawn in one stroke. This method will reveal to you after you solve more of these videos. Yay, more of them. Okay. That was some fine work there. I was stuck on this puzzle for I don't know how long. I've been <laughs> I've been stuck at this river for months. Vexed. Ah, there you are, boy. I just had a terrible vision of you running into trouble tonight. Great. She's a fortune teller. So be careful out there, all right? Well, that was a welcome piece of news. But don't worry about me, because I don't scare easily. You'll find a strange gizmo. My cat was called Gizmo. And he was strange. Hey, you two, what are you up to? Let me in on the secret. Oh, I got it. I got it. Don't tell me. I told you I got it. Out searching for somebody, yeah? In the streets for something for her? But sorry, I haven't seen your man. Are you sure haven't, you haven't seen or heard anything that might help us? Nope, I've got nothing for you. Quit asking me about it, sheesh. Someone's a sassy walker. I see. Well, in any case, thank you for your time. Oh yeah, and good luck with your crazy search. Two crazy kids on a crazy search, right? Right. Ah, but definitely do not go poking around this tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yep, you got it. The tower on the north side of town? How'd you even get to that part of town? Do you remember that clock tower in the square? 
I believe we must pass through it to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. Thanks, weirdly suspicious man. I don't want to go in there. That's the clock tower you're talking about, right, Professor? Yes, quite right. Hmm, someone's standing under the entrance. In order to pass through, you must answer my riddle three. This one I'm getting. Hey there, you've been pretty busy solving puzzles, huh? This isn't the voice I gave him. I can't remember what voice I gave him. No, I can't remember. If you want to pass through here, you need to have solved at least 12 puzzles first, but it looks like you've already done that. Hmm. Well, I guess I lied to you then. <laughs> Good. If you really want to pass through here, you're going to have to solve one more puzzle. Give me the fucking puzzle, mate. Strange dots. The dice below look normal enough, but if you look carefully, you should see a pattern signs to merge. You know the followings. A equals 0, B equals 9, and C equals 6. What does D correspond to? Yo, this is like an IQ test bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna throw myself into the sun. But D could just be n 9, but it's just rotated. That's an arrow. Can you see how that's an arrow? Like this one, if you rotate it one place round, that's gonna be that, right? <laughs> Probably irrelevant. Um. I'm throwing myself into the sun. <laughs> Girl, what? How how do seven year olds solve this? Okay. Look at the different si uh, dice uh, uh, blah, blah, shown. Now look up from your game and think for a moment. Can you think of anything in your environment that shares a strong connotation with numbers? Oh, is it a clock? Yeah, it's a clock. Okay, it's three. <laughs> it's a clock. Are you smarter than a seven-year-old? Yeah, bitch, I got it. I'm smart and cool. Way to go. You've earned it, mister. Come on through. Are you still after that scary cat? We're looking for the one of the Reynolds employees now. He's a man by the name of Ramon. Haven't seen him about, have you? Ramona? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I might have. Oh, gosh, where did I see that guy? Mm, maybe you're better off asking someone else. Go ask Lucy, she's standing up underneath the clock tower. Yippee! Ooh, animation. Nice. We can finally pass through the clock tower to the north side of town. How exciting! I can't wait to see what's in store for us there. Ah! Why is that mouse? Why is that mouse just chilling while getting harassed by this cat? I don't give a shit about you, Lucy. I'm looking at this cat. Look at that cat, Professor. It's not Claudia, is it? No, no. Hold on a second, Fort. That's a different cat. Oh, <laughs> Luke, you're so smart and intelligent. Yes, it's an alley cat, and judging by the way he bullies that poor mouse, a rather mean one at that. Ah, yes, Luke. Speaking of mice, have you heard of this one before? <laughs> no, old woman. I can't solve your puzzle. We're in the middle of something. But Luke, I can talk to you about mice if you like. Mice are famous for the ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. This is a fucking puzzle. Okay, the type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing 12 babies each time. Baby mice are um, mature enough, they can give birth two months after they are born. You pick up one of these darling baby mice at a pet shop and brought it home the day after it was born. In 10 months from now, how many mice will you have? <laughs> Maps, is it? Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Wait, you picked up one mouse and brought it home. Unless this mouse can breed via a sexual reproduction. You got one baby. I think I've got it. Yes! That mouse do not be fucking. Okay, I'm smart now. I've got two in a row now, I'm smart. <laughs> Correct. Excellent work, Luke. Nice. Nice. Hee <laughs> hee! What you 
doing? I could tell you wanted to ask me something, but would you mind solving my puzzle first? My little brother and I came up with this one together. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Last thing you want on your Burger King burger is someone else's foot fungus, but sometimes that's what you're gonna get. The boy and his big sister are sitting around the kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age. Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that and then I'll be three times your age. Just how old is each sibling? Die. <laughs> okay. Took two years from my age and gave them to you, you'll be twice my age. So if it's twice your age, it's going to be an even number. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. So I saved this person was six. If my if I was six, you took away two. There'd be four. And if you gave them to them, there would now be eight. I'm sure they're both gonna be the same age in this. Because if you give one more, it'd be three. No, that's wrong. Fuck. <laughs> if you could be three times that age, I'm going to say the ending result is going to be nine. Because that's divisible by three and that's the easiest. Unless it's going to be six as well. Fuck, I hate this game. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm a child and I can't solve maps. Listen, I was bad at maps. I was in top set maps. Well, my whole thing was I could not remember the end to any equation ever. But because you got marks for working out, I managed to scrape by with like a B. Because I always knew the beginning of a formula. But I never gave an answer. Because <laughs> I could never remember the ending. <laughs> it's giving me that. And I haven't done the math since like year 11, so leave me alone. Okay. Took two years away from my age and gave them to you. Boy and his big sister. I dropped maths as soon as I could. Same. <laughs> I hate maths. I'm bad at maths. I like shapes. Shapes are fun. I don't have a maths head. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend the, end, the ending is nine. So at that point, there'll be three. And I've taken three away from it. At six. And this has three put on top. I'm going to say they're both six years old. I'm going to say they're both six years old. <laughs> no, because then that's not a big sister. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. She's 66 years old. Old enough to be your grandmother. <laughs> okay, we look at the hints. <laughs> Let's see. We can't pair this puzzle down. If we can't pair this puzzle down a bit. When you take two years away from the big brother's age and add them to the big sister, she becomes twice his age. Additionally, when you take three years away from the brother and give it to the sister, she becomes three, and old, three times older than she is. That's what I was trying to figure out, bro! Yeah, because I was like imagining that she was going to be six or nine. That's a nine, it looks like a four. Shut up. Um, Because those are divisible by three. If you take three away from that, be three. If you took three away from that, he'd be six. I'm gonna say he's three and he she's six. There we go. Cause I don't care. We're just gonna do guesswork at this point. <laughs> I didn't come here for math school, do you mind? Luke, here's my answer. Fuck you, Layton. <laughs> How embarrassing. Wait, what did they just tell me? I should have clicked, actually read that before I clicked through. <laughs> I don't care. I'm bringing up the puzzle solution. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to be sitting here doing maths. I'm going to do children's fucking maths on stream. <laughs> I'm finding the line. And it's this. Oh, look. I am your father. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Fuck you, Leighton. Fuck you, you handsome brick of a man. Okay. Solution, the brother and the sister are both six years old. I was saying six years old. 
from the beginning. My instincts were right. I should just listen to my instincts. Because whenever I overthink it, I get it wrong. No, she's 66 years old again. Good job. I literally said they're both six. Wait, are you technically playing as Luke in this game? I don't know. Every puzzle has an answer. I think... No, I think he plays both because, like, when you tried to cross the boat in the first stream, it was directed towards Leighton. Because they're like, if you're the great Professor Leighton, you should be able to solve my puzzle. I think he just switches in between. Sometimes Leighton's like, oh, Luke, I'll let you do a puzzle, I suppose. I think. But yes, my instinct... My instinct was that they were both six years old, but it said that one of them was the older sibling, so I assumed that there'd be different numbers. I'm stupid. <laughs> That was too easy for you. Oh well. Hey, you know that guy from the mansion, Ramon? He may look sedate, but boy does he have uh, like the nightlife. Him and his buddies uh, with that part. He's buddies with that party animal, Jarvis. Cool. Who the fuck's Jarvis? I don't believe we know the man. Where might we find him? Well, you see, Jarvis isn't the type to uh, place much value beyond being gainfully employed. I cannot read, Mama. At this time of day, he's probably lazing around one of those steps up to the north. Just head up north till you hit a fork in the road, then take the path to the right. Okay, I have to go now. Let's play again later. Yippee! Yippee! I'm imagining all these little gizmo parts go together like a Kinder Egg toy. This doesn't look like it's going to open anytime soon. I'm one of, I want more coins. Yeah, thank you. Give me more coins. Oh, fuck. Look, Professor, there's a puzzle hidden here. Good set up. <laughs> 107? Jesus Christ, we've jumped up. Okay. <laughs> this worm's life dream is to make it to the center of the apple. This worm has a dream. Complete the slight puzzle and make, help him realize his dream. I mean, with eight puzzles to manage, this task may seem easy, but it's probably harder than you suspect. If it's just a slide puzzle, I like a slide puzzle. There he is! Hi! We're gonna slide this puzzle, baby. This is literally just a slide puzzle, huh? Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Right, one of my news resolutions is to learn how to do a Rubik's Cube. I should get on that, because this is giving me that. <laughs> I fucked it! Yeah. Okay. I wasn't paying attention to how many uh, pieces this is supposed to take. I hope there's not a time limit. Fuck! Back up there. Oh, I've totally fucked this. <laughs> it was so close. I completely fucked this. <laughs> oh god, okay. I realise I'm maybe not good at slide puzzles, I'm just very good at jamming on stuff until a solution happens. How does this keep happening? <laughs> Crush the worm, crush him. Well, shit. Yeah, I know. Okay, that was a bad hint. 
This is one that no one can help me with. <laughs> How do I always get those two pieces mixed up? I don't understand how I keep doing that. I mean, this is an optional puzzle. I could just walk away. Sometimes you just gotta go, hey, hit that bricks and just leave. Yeah, whatever. They'll be safe to me. Shut up, Luke. Don't patronize me. I wanna fall down the stairs. Let's go. Who are you? Are you Jarvis? What's this? Yes, it's just as I suspected. You can tell him from here, sir. You have something you want to ask me, yes? I'm thinking he's Italian because his name's Zapponi. <coughs> Sorry, I coughed. Don't even try to hide it, sir. It's in your eyes. Ask as you may. You can solve this puzzle for me. Okay. I don't help in. There is an overhead view of a cluster of tropical islands. As you travel from the start of, to the goal of your objective, it, well, as you travel from start to goal, your objective is to visit every island exactly one time. Island folk say this can be accomplished with the addition of a single straight bridge. You never realize your bridge is carved across the three existing bridges. Where should your bridge go? This is just during the one line bullshit again. <laughs> Oh, well, this is really uninteresting to watch, huh? I'm gonna say here. Because I'm lying. Okay. Well. Go what? Oh, there's so many places you could do a bridge. Oh, shit. Okay. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Dun, dun, dun. Girl, how do they expect seven year olds to do this shit? Honestly. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <sighs> I'm throwing myself into the sun after this stream. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you have to visit every island every time, but not necessarily use every single bridge. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier in my head. I'm thinking it might be the here, actually. Yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Luke, here's my answer. Lights on, you son of a bitch. Oh, how embarrassing. It doesn't even give you a hint like it does at the end of other puzzles. It just goes, hey, look again, idiot. You can figure out um, locations by just going bop bop bop. This is what I'm learning. One, two. Dun, 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 dun. If you can see my cursor, you, you can see I'm tracing around the map. But you can't, so you're just hearing me go bop bop bop. Here, maybe? That should do it. Later, I'm gonna cheat on you. I'm gonna cheat on your wife. I know you don't have a wife. It's cheating time, baby! I'm not invested in this enough. Ba, 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 
This is the sound of me loading up. Leighton, I'm gonna cuck you. Come here. Your wife is mine. Big kiss. What? Oh, is that two solutions? It's making me look like there's two solutions. This puzzle is worth nothing now. You dingus. You absolute fool. Wait, what? <laughs> Fucking hell. Every puzzle has an answer. Later, I'm gonna kiss your wife. And I'm gonna pee on her. Just as I suspected, a fellow detective, your skills are puzzle serving a set up at a debt. That about a yet edited at a little what do you want, old lady? No pee? Okay, I'm sorry. I was gonna mark my territory. Fix it! Oh dear, your fortune for this month looks abysmal. Thanks! I recommend you solve your puzzle if you want to avoid this terrible, potentially gory fate. <laughs> I like the idea of someone being like, I have to tell you my horoscope, or you're gonna explode. Okay. Oh, it's one of these ones. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're doing one of these again. I know it's not this one. It's not that one anyway. It might be that one, but I kind of did that really stupidly. It might be the house again. I... Song about houses is fucked up. Oh wait. Nope. No, that's wrong. Why are the beeping hints at me? I don't want you. Go away. Okay, it's definitely not that, not that one. I think it's the house again. I think it's the house again. I think I've got it. Bad news! It's not the house again. I've let you down, Professor. <laughs> you little shit, you're going back to the orphanage. Hey, sir, I have some puzzles. Well, then it's going to be the bow then, because that's the other one I couldn't quite figure out, but I couldn't be bothered. Process of elimination, baby. Well, here's my guess. If you're not right the first time, you might be right the second time. What? I've let you down, Professor. Excuse me? What do you fucking mean? <laughs> the hat's definitely fine. And the glasses are fine. What? What? I literally did the hat. Oh, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> In my time of need, you're here to go. Okay, well, it's definitely not the hat. So I guess it's got to be the glasses then. That's the best circle I've ever drawn. You're welcome. Well, I hope you're doing okay, Rose. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. How is it not the hat? How is it not the hat? I don't fucking understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is a hat, okay? You go like this. You go like this. You go like this. You go like this. This, 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 this. This. Oh shit, maybe I am doing it wrong. I was doing it wrong. This bit here fucks me up. I'm stupid. It's probably the house. I already did the house. And the ho I thought it was the house. And it was like, mm, actually, you're wrong. I'm fucking leaving. I'm going. I'm walking into the woods now. No one, no one follow me. I 
Everyone here is dead to me. <laughs> My, that was quick. Don't fucking patronize me, Agnes. I've had it up to here with you. Me, <laughs> that scared of this moment's worth of back, uh, gory luck. I'm gonna throw myself into the sun. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to say, there's nothing you can do to change fate. You'll just have to tough it out. Great. <laughs> Good. Good and fantastic. Oh, to the right in the fork in the road, right? Are you Jarvis? Gerard. Hi, Gerard. Say, Sonny, you haven't seen a big coin around here, have you? Got to sworn I dropped a lovely one nearby somewhere. B -b 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 -b. See, I always seem to be losing things nowadays, and replacing them gets mighty expensive. I've become quite a penny pincher. Don't suppose you'd mind advising me on a tiny money matter, would you? Oh, shit. <laughs> Bestie, I've got ADHD. I'm terrible with spending. Okay. Uh, okay. A rope and coins are arranged as shown below. If you pull the ends of the rope out to the left and right, the rope will draw taut and push the coins to the either side. Assuming you keep up, get to keep the coins that end up in the top of the row. How many coins will you have? What? <laughs> okay. I'm going to, if we trace this around. And we'll count the ones that are in the pocket, right? Oh shit, I'm really bad at tracing, apparently. I'm doing it with a mouse, and I use my mouse right-handed even though I'm a lefty. And it's a struggle bus. Welcome to the struggle bus. This might be the worst tracing I've ever done in my life. Dun 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 dun. We're just gonna ignore that twisty bit there. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Girl, how big is this rope? Wait, is the rope the entire squiggly line? I think it actually is. This is stupid. Same, the mouse left and but right hand mouses unite. This is the thing about being a left-handed person is your shit at both hands because so many things are right-handed in the world that you use both. So you're not particularly good at either. <laughs> this is what I've learned. Okay. I'm going to assume everything above the pocket is going to do it and everything below is not because tracing that was stupid. Okay. So that's gonna be one. That one's not. That one will get left behind. That one might get yanked. That one won't. This one will. This one will. This one will. That probably will. Same with that one. Same with that one probably. This is stupid. This is a stupid puzzle. That one will. That one will. That one might. That one might. That one will. That one probably will. Sure, why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm gonna say sixteen. There we go. Layton. Your ass is grass. I'm sending you to hell. Is this good? I, I, I have no patience today. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I did the stream so early. Because it gives me some wiggle room for the rest of my day. Get out of here. I said get out of here. <sighs> hey, so... I want to do some practice first because I haven't played... A Metal Gear game in a very long while, but Metal Gear is on the agenda because I bought a PS Classic and I've turned it into a emulation machine and it has it on there as native base kit and it's very fun, but I need to remember how to play because I am bad at them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Layton? Layton? Layton! Jesus Christ! That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. I now have a modded PlayStation Classic. Because my idea, my thinking was, is as much as I like the idea of doing PS2 streams, I was not happy with the quality of the stream itself, visually. Like, I don't know if my, if my capture for uh ps2 output is just shit because i was not happy with how it looked and how it sounded 
So I was like, how could I fix this? Oh yeah, PlayStation Classic has HDMI. Fucking smart. <laughs> Hi, Lo, how you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. We're doing Fessel and I'm getting very pissed off. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's going to be Metal Gear soon. I just need to not be as rusty as I was before. Apparently it's nine. I hate this puzzle. Um, <laughs> hell yeah. I love Metal Gear. It's my favourite. And I realise I haven't actually played any on stream except for Revengeance. Luke, here's my yeah. But yeah. PlayStation Classic is Another easily the worst of the micro consoles that came out. But it's the one with the most power. So it can play literally anything. Um... To the point where I'm trying to figure out how to get PSP emulation on it. Because then I can do Guitar Ruman. And I wanted to do that on the PS2. But then my PS2 was, uh, like I said, a capture of shit. So, yeah. <laughs> and the PC version was on sale on GOG a while ago. Yippee! Get Loco Roco, the best PSP game. I have that. I have that already. But I will try and see what I can do that way. <laughs> oh shit, maybe Metal Gear Acid. I own both Metal Gear Acids and I haven't played either of them and I bought them like years ago. <laughs> but yes, I've made an emulation machine essentially. And it's very fun and exciting. To the point where I was going to play this one that instead but then I realised the bottom screen's not going to work. <laughs> I never played Acid. I have Portable Ops and Peace Walker. Portable Ops! Fun Rosie trivia. First Metal Gear game I ever played. <laughs> Because my friend sold me his memory card for his PSP because I needed a new one. And then he threw in a bunch of random games in there. And that's the first one I ever played. And that game is non-canon. <laughs> and then Peace Walker I have digitally on my Vita. And then, annoyingly, I have the Metal Gear Collection. Um, but I have it on PS3. So I can't stream it without doing some fiddly stuff that I haven't figured out how to do. Because... I keep forgetting. <laughs> the Peace Walker is a good game because you've got Vocaloid uh, fucking Mel Gears in it and that's hilarious. <laughs> Shut up, Gerard. But yeah, I'm excited for the future. But for now, we're not there yet. Hence why we've settled with Lay Layton for the moment. <laughs> My earliest Metal Gear Solid memory is when MSG1 first came out. I went around a kid's house and he showed me what the guards showed me that the guards follow your footsteps and he didn't know how to get into Shadow Moses. <laughs> That's like the first 10 minutes of the game. <laughs> oh, bless him. I love, I love Metal Gear Solid. I like the guards in that level because they just go, huh, what was that noise? Instead of what was that noise? What was that noise? And I like him. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 1 in absolute ages, which is why I was like, I need to be a little bit less rusty on it first. Because my original plan was was to play through Metal Gear Solid 2 off stream, so then I could come in and be like, hi, I'm going to do a Snake Eater stream. Because then I would have been, like, okay with <laughs> that playstyle. <laughs> I've only played Metal Gear Solid 2 and up to the point in Metal Gear 5 that seems like the ending, but then there's a whole other half. How could you only play Metal Gear Solid 2? That's bizarre to me. Metal Gear Solid 2 is like right in the middle of the source. <laughs> but also it's great. I love Metal Gear Solid 2. I love I love Raiden. Raiden's best boy. <laughs> I think Snake Eater 3D was the first one I actually played and beat it like 10 times. Snake Eater 3D! I don't know how expensive that is to get, but that is such a hard game to get, like, get your hands on. I hope you still have it. Because, like, it's the only... Actually, no, that's a lie. I was like, it's the only Metal Gear Solid game on a Nintendo system. And I was like, no, Twin Snakes. Um, <laughs> can you tell I like Metal Gear Solid more than I like Professor Layton? I haven't played Metal Gear Solid in ages, but yeah. <gasps> also, oh, on my on my little PlayStation Classic, I was playing Ghost Babel. I love Ghost Babel. <laughs> if you don't know what Ghost Babel is, it's the Game Boy Colors port of Metal Gear Solid. Kind of. It's in like the style of like the MSX games. And it's like... Interesting. And it's cool because it has the old mechanics where they can render more than four enemies on screen at a time. So if you leave, you can just escape uh, an alert. It's way easier. Anyway. <laughs> I feel bad. I sort of like a tenor. No! <laughs> That's like... 
that's upsetting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> because a friend and sister, they do it. And now I'm not friends with them anymore. Those things are unrelated. <laughs> Fair. Fair. It's funny because the best Metal Gear Solid game, in my opinion, is 3. And it's the first one chronologically. So it's always the best, most logical step to start out with. Because <laughs> when I first got into Metal Gear Solid properly, I started with 5. Like, when I was actually interested in the series, I, I started with 5 and went, wait a second, this, this doesn't make any sense. So then I started back from the beginning. I played through all of them chronologically. <laughs> it was fun. I want a PC collection on Steam. There's lich There was a rumour that was going around, like, a couple weeks ago that they were going to get put on Steam. I'm hoping they still do. <laughs> fresh new ports. Yes! I want fresh new ones. I want to play Twin Snakes. I've never played Twin Snakes. Twin Snakes is like the... Yeah, the GameCube remake. And apparently it's broken because they didn't really think about how so many encounters only make sense when you're in top down. So like the Revel Ocelot boss fight is actually the easiest piece of shit in the world because you can just first person shoot him. <laughs> it's so stupid. So Snakes is okay. It was just one with wacky cutscenes and first person shooting. See? Stupid. But I like seeing I like seeing Liquid Snake, because Liquid Snake's a good boy. He's not, he's a trash boy. But you don't get much liquid as I want in the Metal Gear franchise because obviously he kind of gets yeah quite early on. And then I love Ocelot, but Ocelot's better when best when he's Ocelot, not Liquid Ocelot. Anyway, anyway, Metal Gear streams coming soon. I just need to not humiliate myself because I haven't played them in a while. <laughs> Look from Ryan up north. I misclicked that. There we go. How are you doing today, Laura? Anyway, I don't know if I actually asked. <laughs> oh, I really, really liked your Jane picture, your, your Jane illustration on Instagram. It was really cool. I love Jane. Laura's currently doing a Breaking Bad redraw series, kind of. I don't know. I appreciate them. I really liked your, your soul one as well. You're good at art. Shut up. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay. Let me tell you, lately St. Mysterio has become a dangerous place. Oh, this is Jarvis. <laughs> now I'm just painting random characters from if I like it. That's what I thought. You didn't seem to... You just go on a on a little little vibe sort of journey of like what kind of art you want to do. And yeah, you're going through like a little Breaking Bad sort of thing right now and I like it. They're really cool. <laughs> but yeah, you're drawing all the best characters, so hell yeah. Yippee! I want to do another rewatch again, but I didn't finish doing one of those that long ago. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Case in point, I haven't seen Ramon since yesterday. Is that Rusky or missing or something? I don't know why people are disappearing, but I, uh, sometimes they just vanish. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Really? Could you please elaborate a bit more what you think about these mysterious disappearances? No, I can't say any particulars on the subject. I forgot I was streaming, I was just chatting. Whoops. How long have we been live for? Only like an hour. Oh my god. I throw myself into the sun. Okay. Oh shucks. I don't really remember much about it. You probably have better luck talking with Zapponi about stuff like this. I hear he's in the know about some pretty much about pretty much everything. I already talked to him, bro. We already talked to him. <laughs> yeah. He's a slouchy guy with a fancy little mustache. You know him when you see him. But yeah, basically I have lots of um my world has opened up in regards to what I can stream. But now I'm overwhelmed with how much I can stream. <laughs> so that's fun. Also, I have another one planned, but I need to do the prequel game first, just so I'm, I don't humiliate myself. Basically, I've got lots of things planned, but I have to do prep before, and that's what's keeping me back. So that's fun. Has anyone heard of a Jamalami? Because we're going to be doing that. <laughs> Wait, I have a 3DS emulator. I can just play Snake Eater 3D that way. True, but you got rid of a really cool game. <laughs> Do you not have a PS2? <laughs> what does 3DS... What, what, what does um, Snake Eater 3D have different than a normal version? I have the PS3 collection. Same Z's. The PS3 collection is great. I'm still annoyed about how Guns of the Patriots is only has only ever been released on PS3. So rude. Have you seen the blah, 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 the Jamalami arcade game that's been found? <gasps> no. I'm going to have to look into that. Basically, I've never played Parappa the Rapper. I've never played uh, Alamajami. 
Jamie Lamy. Jamie Lamy, yes. Um, but for some reason, I had the soundtrack <laughs> when I was like a teenager, and I really liked the music. <laughs> and now I can finally play them. Anyway. It's based on the Peace Walker engine, so you can crouch walk. Ah! It's a straight up remake in the Peace Walker engine, at least. And you can take photos and use them as camo. <gasps> That's fucking sick. Because Peace, uh, Peace Walker? Because uh, Snake Eater is like one of my favourites because of the stupid camo stuff and how you can just sort of fuck around and... Can you still spin Snake and make him throw up? Because I need to see some big boss farm. Haha, <laughs> yay! <laughs> you can do it all. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh dear, it's silly. It's silly. I love Metal Gear, I should get into them again. I think the cycle's coming back around again, where I'm really into stuff. I am the worst at playing Professor Layton. That's what I'm learning. Did I just... Oh fuck, what did I just do? <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> kind of. Whee! Okay. <laughs> Hi, Wiz and Lot and Gazebo. Hello, Slay. How are you doing? We're doing Professor Layton, and I'm not into it so we're just chatting about Metal Gear. Um, <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't know Slay, they recently had their 3 affiliate anniversary and they're cool and you should go follow them if you like. Uh, a bit of variety. Go say hi. <laughs> oh, it's alright. Yay! Yeah, I got you. I got you, and hell yeah, hope you're having a good one. I This game's fail, failing the vibe check for me today. <laughs> so. Okay. Go meet Zapone, you already talked to him. Where is he? What do you want, you little shit? Looking into the mysterious disappearances around the villages, are you? Well, let me give you my take on the situation. Well, um, um, uh, um, hmm, um. Is something the matter? Ah, yes, and now I remember. It's the rumours you're after. Take a tip from the fellow detective and go ask Crouton. Who the fuck is Crouton? <laughs> I looked into these games and got franchise fatigue. I don't know how many there are. <laughs> and I know there's a new one <laughs> coming out soon. I like the idea of them, but some of the puzzles are too smart for my stupid little pea brain. And I do not understand how this franchise is for children. Unless they listen to like fucking Mozart in the pussy, baby. I ignored what he said. Uh, where was it? It said something about the town, but I wasn't paying attention. Take a tip from the detective and go ask Crouton. He owns a restaurant in town. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Give me the town. Oh, you're looking for a restaurant now? It's not far, just head a little to the west of here. Never eat shredded waste. Okay. Before you run off again, I've got a tip for you. If you want to experience all that St. Mysterio has to offer, you can't just run from point A to B. Take some time and explore the city from corner to cover. You'll be glad you did. Much appreciated. We'll be sure to give that a try. Come on, Luke, we have work to do. Yippee! Okay. Waste. Oh! Ah! What was that sound? Gah, I've just had it. Would someone please stop that awful racket? What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man. Ah, but never mind that. I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise. I can't get a week, 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 week. It used to be the tower that only made noise every once in a while, but recently it's been growing non-stop. How am I supposed to sleep? You hear? You big jerk of a tower? How am I supposed to sleep? Please calm yourself down, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of that deafening din is? You know, now you mention it, I don't have the slightest cue about that. I heard it's the roar of a huge monster that lives up the tower, but who knows? So the noise is coming from the tower, is it? What the fuck is the deal with the tower, yo? Oh, it's you. Lucy. I am not feeling this game. One second, my mum has messaged me. <laughs> I'm having a normal one today.
One second. There you go. Okay. Tee hee hee hee! Oh, that's not Lucy. That guy gets so worked up when he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Tee hee 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 hee! Fantastic. To the tower! Hi, your mum wizard. <laughs> Don't talk to her. She's asking if I'm going out because we need milk. Which is good because that means I go get snacks. Yippee! That filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. Blayton, stay on, stay on fucking subject. What are you doing, bro? Okay. A bottle full of germs. Fantastic. Okay. A glass jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. After that, the two germs split in again, making four germs. Knowing this, how many minutes would it take to fill the jar if you started with two germs? A single germ can multiply to fill the jar in exactly one hour. How long in minutes would it take to fill this jar if you started with two germs? Well, if we started with two germs, then... We already had the first minute, so 59 minutes? Right? Well, here's my guess. It's these ones that try and fucking trick you. Professor, I've solved it. When it's actual maths and actual thinking, like lateral thinking, can't fucking think. But when it's just a trick, when it's a riddle, I'm good at riddles. I'm not good at puzzles. <laughs> If this was a riddle game, I'd be fucking winning. Okay. Fucking I'll win, bitch. It, I don't have face cam. So I have to tell you how much I flip off my screen while doing this game. <laughs> well, spot on. Excellent job. This jar is actually kind of, jar is actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? But my boy, it's covered in grime. What's this? Something's hidden inside the jar? Why are you wanting to pick up gross things off the street, Luke? What are you doing? Reach your hand in and see what's inside with you. Do you have any hands, Sani? Oh, we found a painting scrap. Okay. Where the fuck is Crouton? I want to see his head. I'm not touching my hand. I can't actually remember what they said Crouton was. I'm going to say that it's the left, maybe. Are you Crouton? Hello, Crouton? No, that's Archibald. Lend me an ear, would you? I'd like your expert opinion on this puzzle, but it won't take but a minute. You missed how easily I get lost in games. My sense of game direction is poor in all worlds. I don't understand how people like have good sense of direction. When me and Luke play Dead by Daylight, so Dead by Day, like, like, maps have, like, apparently a set, like, it's, they've got tiles in them, and the tiles can change to, like, different, like, formations. But generally, there's some objects that are always in the same place in the map, right? And Luke would be like, oh, yeah, I'm on top map, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm stuck in a bush right now. No idea how fucking, how people would navigate in games without actually being there. <laughs> It's so weird. Although I think this is an ADHD thing in that, like, details in regards to imagination uh, can be, like, are portrayed in a different way than you think. In that, like, when I read and stuff like that, I'm sort of imagining it from, like, a 180 perspective. Like, I can't move the camera around kind of thing. Like, the camera sits in one direction, like, I'm looking at, it, like, a, like, a production, like a theater production or something like that so like i can't move the camera in my head everything is just in front of the camera does that make sense special awareness anyway <laughs> i got lost for going the <laughs> going for a run the other week oh no <laughs> bless you <laughs> oh dear i feel like yeah sometimes it's worth taking a path that's longer because you know where you're going like as soon as you deviate off a path sometimes you just get completely lost it was a bad idea to go for a run at sunset and not finding my way for a couple of hours a couple of hours jesus christ <laughs> did you not have like google maps or anything <laughs> bless you oh my god i hope the streets were lit at least <laughs> okay a father and son are chatting when the son poses this question dad i'm 22 now but i'm just but just how old are you? Even so, oh my god. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> the father replies, You want to know how old that your old man is? Well, tell you that. I'm as half your age plus half my age. 
I'm as old as your age, but half plus half my age. What? I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. Why does he look like... He looks like Archon. Give him some round glasses. Yeah, baby. What am I doing? Okay. I'm as old as your age, plus half my age. Thirty-three, maybe? Half of his age. I'm gonna say he's thirty-three. Cause uh, that's just I don't know if that's right. <laughs> We're going for like instinct based answers. <laughs> Get fucked! Get fucked! I was gonna say thirty three, but he looks too, too damn old. The illustrations might lie to me, okay? <laughs> How is that not thirty three? Okay. Oh wait, because that would have been a third of his age if he was 33. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. Yeah, I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe 44. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. Yeah, because then it would just be... Yeah, I think it is 44. We are kind of on the right track. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, God, not age problems again. I'm having high school flashbacks. <laughs> oh, my God. None of us are here for puzzles. There we go. Okay, it was 44. Another puzzle solved. Rose, I hope Yakas is going well. <laughs> good. Okay. We got there. We got there. Huh, hmm. I guess I was on the right track all along. Thanks for your help, boys. I'm here to dunk on Luke. <laughs> He's just the little boy. Is he like 12 forever? Does he ever age? How old is your dad? Get away from my dad. Oh, we've made our way around. Nope, can't say I know particulars on the subject. Seems to me the only folks that's banishing are the ones complaining about being sick or tired or shucks. I really don't know. I don't really know much about it. You probably have better luck talking to Zapponi about this stuff, I guess. He needs the Where the fuck is Crouton? <laughs> Show me Crouton's head. Yeah, because we've done this loop now. Tell me about this Luke Donkey. <laughs> uh, as in Luke's a character, not as in uh, stream, stream friend. Friend of the stream. Luke. Oh wait, is this the restaurant? Are you Crouton? This isn't a restaurant. Rodney, I hear you've been investigating Saint Mysterio area. Feel free to continue, but stay away from that tower. That place brings me fortune upon the village, and I strongly advise you to keep your distance. Give me your coins. Give me your coins. Give me your coins. Bitch is cheap as hell. Okay. Doesn't look it like it's gonna open anytime soon. Where is this restaurant? Is this the restaurant? Oh yeah, it's the door I was ignoring earlier. Because <laughs> I didn't want to go in. Are you Croton? Fuck you. I don't have a puzzle for you now. I'll have one next time we bump into each other. I wish you wouldn't. Are you Croton? Croton, my boy! Or is that Groton? Or is it Groupon? Ramon, he hasn't been around here today. So it looks like we've hit another dead end. Too. No wait, too bad you couldn't find him. He usually skips out of work and comes here to gossip and have coffee. And, you know, speaking of gossip, I heard some weird rumours from a customer lately. Recently, there's been talk of a strange man running around St. Mysterio and kidnapping people. Oh yeah, Dracula's running around, isn't he? I forgot about Dracula. A kidnapper? Who is this old man? I heard all this second hand, so you got it me there. You need to find a better source for village gossip. You might want to try your luck at the cafe. Usually you hear rumours straight from the source there. It's almost sunset now, so the cafe should be open for dinner. Apparently there's an adult version of Luke in more recent stuff. Is there actually? <laughs> I was like, is he just trapped being a child forever? <laughs> I want to go see adult Luke. I want to see him. 
Uh, does he have a last name? Luke Triton. <laughs> ah! Oh god, he is old. I don't like it. He's older in the anime. Does an anime? Yo, there's so many of these. There's so many games in this series. I don't like him. He's he's not the right shade of blue. He is Luke Triton. I don't like it. <laughs> a mysterious man kidnapping village folk? Now that's a rumor. Yippee! Chapter 3! Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, we need to do a save. There we go. You didn't see that? How long have you been live for? Hour and a half. I'm going to quickly pop to the loo. I'll be back in a minute, okay? <laughs> Go Pisco is gender neutral in my opinion. Okay, hi. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. We're on again. There we go. Yeah! Okay. We did it! Professor, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid it's my cue to start closing up shop. Come by tomorrow if you get hungry. I agree, but I didn't want to make an assumption. <laughs> Listen, horse girls are gender neutral. Cowboys are gender neutral. Go piss girl, gender neutral. Or is it gender nooch? I had TikTok uh, open long enough to hear the people going on about gender nooch. I like gender nooch. Okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh shit. Incredible. Jendi Nietzsche. <laughs> the board the board of language has updated. Jendi Nietzsche. Luke, let's take a moment to sum up our findings. We have a strange roaring tower, disappearing villagers, and an odd elderly kidnapper. It's all so bizarre, I can't make sense of it at all, Professor. I think we've finally got some clues on our hands, my boy. Observing the nightlife in this village may tell us more about what we need to know. Great idea, Professor. That little sound cue sounds like um something from like Tomodachi Life or something. <laughs> it's like, mmm, and eggs are my favourite. Save my prejudice. Prejudice. <laughs> yeah. Best idea. Collect info at the cafe. Was this the cafe? Nope. I don't want to talk to you, giggling child. Where was the cafe? Do you remember where it was, sir? Oh goodness, whatever shall I do? What seems to be the trouble, sir? Let's see, strong young, you look like you have a good back. Oh, thank heavens you came along. I beg your pardon? 
I've searched everywhere, I just can't find the thing. I suppose I must have dropped it while I was out strolling by the park this afternoon. I should go back for it myself, but it's gotten dark out. It's awfully scary out there. Bah, nothing of the sort. It's just that, I'm no spring chicken anymore, my eyes aren't sharp as they used to be. So how about it, Sonny? Will you help an old man out go search in front of the park for me? What? But we're in the middle of investigation right now. Now, now, Luke, no need to be rude. After all, the park is but a small ways away. And who knows, we might actually find some new information to aid our case out there. Besides, helping those in need is the duty of any gentleman. <laughs> I forgot about the gentleman shtick. Okay. Splendid, I'll get back. I'll wait to right back when you come back and you come when I come on your back. One more detail, please, sir. What exactly did you drop? Drop? I... Oh my, what was it? Um... Oh, that's right. It was my watch. Actually, my best wristwatch. Bring it back to me, Sonny. Where was the park? <laughs> I think it was this way, wasn't it? Down here? But it's closed! No, that was a little spice. I felt a little spice on the chat. <laughs> Yawn! Hmm, Gerard lost something again. I think he's gone kind of slow. He's always dropping stuff. So, what did he drop this time? I wasn't reading. <laughs> I was wondering if anyone would pick up on it. You win a gold star today in being nasty. <laughs> Indeed, he did drop a wristwatch. Did you pick it up around here? Ah, uh, yep. Well, actually, no, because Beatrice is actually the one to find it. Thing is, it was already late when she found it, so she decided to hold on to it till the morning. Go to the inn, you could probably ask her for it. So there you go. Now you got now I've got your attention. Could you give me a hand and solve this puzzle here? I've been massively corrupted by Twitch. <laughs> Are you nasty? God damn. <laughs> I think I was already corrupted. Twitch just gave me an outlet. I'm sipping. Everyone else do a sip. Dark places give me the willies, but I wanted to solve this puzzle so bad I came out here to help. This puzzle's all about the stars, you see. Maybe you can make sense of the thing, hmm? Maybe the same. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of course, I'd be happy to help you with it. Woohoo! Legend has it that people used to stare up at the heavens and find images of animals and important events in the constellations. Looking up at the star-filled sky here, try to connect five of the large objects in space to form the largest five-pointed star possible. Connect stars by drawing a line in between them. Make sure your lines and pass through another star along the way. Fuck. In real life, people just don't know. <laughs> just don't get to know too much. Yeah, they don't need to know my business. They don't need to know what I'm at. At work, um, occasionally I'll drop like a very, a very naughty joke and it always keeps, catches everyone off guard and I'm just like Tee -hee. you don't know that I'm like this full time <laughs> I like a boob joke I like a pinoir joke okay big stars I'm a power saving the node at the moment exactly they don't need they don't deserve to to hear what you have to say Is that a big star? <laughs> a shit bestie. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Connect the five largest objects in space. How big does a star need to be? This is a star, right? This is what stars look like, right? I've never seen one in real life before. Is that a star? <laughs> It's Lisa Simpson upside down. <laughs> oh my god. She's here, Lisa. That's barely a star. Luke, here's my answer. It's shit. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <sighs> this is my least favorite kind of puzzle. <laughs> Connect the five. But you can't connect. What? Five objects connected together doesn't make a star. It makes a big 
Hexagon. Pentagon. Pentagon. The Pentagon. There we go. Herschel, no, he's so upset with me. Okay. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. How cringe. Damn best, you're being cringe right now. I'm totally not pulling up the answer. I'm very good at this game. I'm doing great. Wait, what? Did you know there's a UK solution to this puzzle and a US solution? There's different versions. What the fuck? The UK and the US versions have different answers. What does that mean? Oh. Oh. Belial. Asmodeus. <laughs> Sanctinus. <laughs> oh wait, this is the US. Is this the UK version? I think this is the UK version. Satanus. Lucifer. Okay, no, this is the US version. There's two different versions of this. And the solution to this puzzle, I can't figure it out, but it's an upside down star. <laughs> there we go. Lucifer. Every puzzle has an answer. Weird. I don't understand where the tree. Why the there's a tree in there? I don't remember reading about a tree, but apparently this is the answer. But yeah, there's a UK version. There's a different version of the puzzle where it's like a. Is it the same puzzle? See how many triangles you can find in the picture. No, there's different versions. What the fuck? Why did the US get the cool satanic stuff? <laughs> hey, thanks a bunch. I can finally go home and catch a few winks. Yawn. Oh yeah, I remember now. Beatrice is uh, from the inn is the one who found Gerard's watch. Don't forget to ask her about it, okay? See you tomorrow. Yawn. Come on, Luke. Let's go. Where will the stuffed bear? <laughs> Where will it go? Leighton gets the bear. Fuck you, Luke. That's about the watch at the inn. Where was the inn? This one? Nope. I'm not talking to you, laughing girl. See, we should know where the inn is, because we literally have a room in there. <laughs> there seems to be a puzzle embedded in this door. I would have sworn there was nothing there a minute ago. Luke doesn't deserve the bear. He doesn't. Luke's been a bad boy and he does not get to build, go to build a bear and he doesn't get to pick a scent and he doesn't get to pick a funny noise and a cute little outfit because he's cringe. Fascinating, this puzzle appears to be acting as some sort of form of lock for this door. How delightful. <laughs> I like the idea of Professor Layton going up to a keyhole and being like, oh, look, it's a puzzle. <laughs> okay. Number 58, get the ball out. The noises are terrible. Why would any children want them? I don't know. <laughs> They're a little scary. Oh, this is like the... What? Did I fuck this up already? Move, ball, move! Well, I... Uh, nope. <laughs> this is glory hell. How can this be a puzzle? <laughs> no! I would take Leighton out to the club, though. Toys should be non-sentient as much as possible. No, I am a firm believer in Furbies. I have two. Well, I have three. I've got two classic ones and then one um of the reboot ones, which are like, have the blue scary avatar eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> My voice is going. 
I realize this, I've done the exact same thing as the last one. Maybe? Well, this gives me nothing. What have I done here? Well, I like Furbies. No. They need to make a Kirby Furby. Fuck, that would be sick. I don't know what Furbies currently look like. There was a time where I was pretty learned on Furbies. And it's been a while. See, my sister had a Furby when I was a kid, which I was incredibly jealous of. And it was Gizmo from um, Gremlins. <laughs> and that was sick as hell. I do not like the idea of a furry furry Kirby. Oh. Mm. That's... Mm, I can see that. Now, this one's for you FNAF heads out there. Can we have a FNAF Furby? <laughs> it's very cute, but it will try and kill you. That's good one. Yeah, it was Gizmo from Gremlins. And he was very cute. I keep doing the exact same thing over and over again. Damn, girl, you the definition of madness? Because you got me repeating myself. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Genius. Snaps. I need a brief also. Very nice. The door should open up right now. If I got home drunk and I'm like, I need to find my key to open my door. Jesus Christ. Thank you. It's been a while since I've heard his sweet voice. That was lovely, thank you. But yeah, can you imagine getting home drunk and you're pulling out your keys and you realise you have to do a fucking sliding ball puzzle? <laughs> I lose my mind. Why does this person have a tinier house inside their house? Okay. Normal. I just sleep on the streets. <laughs> You've got a garden. You find a nice little bush to hang out in. <laughs> you got a shed? Wow, well, howdy. Do you have to find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Yes, I do. Well then, Sonny, you came to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Why does this person listen to people break in and not do anything? Because <laughs> she was, um... She, she has too much trust in the puzzle mechanic. Of her, of her luck, and now she didn't actually expect anyone to be able to solve it. Granny Riddleton? Where can I find this lady? Isn't it obvious? She's right in front of you, boy! Tsk, no wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful, clairvoyant Granny Riddleton, guide to the puzzling puzzle. Beautiful, beautiful and clairvoyant? Professor, do you know what she's going on about? Okay, I need to figure out something for lunch, so I'm heading into a deeper lurk. Just don't go where I can't follow, okay? <laughs> okay, you enjoy finding your lunch. To be fair, I'm not feeling this that much no more, so I might bail in a minute anyway. So <laughs> I won't be here when you get back, so I appreciate you swinging by. I am respectfully uh, giving you a crisp high five, but I'm a little clammy. And if you don't already follow the Gazebo children, go follow the Gazebo children. They play games that are good. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, currently, they're doing Bee's doing a solo Yakuza Zero stream, which is very good because we love that game. And then together, they're doing Breath of the Wild because Tears of the Kingdom's coming out soon, and they're good people. Go follow them. Go follow them. Okay. <laughs> and you have a good lunch. <laughs> I still don't know, is it Tears of the Kingdom or Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> I think it's Tears, isn't it? Okay. No, bless you. Because you're about to sneeze. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Professor, do you know what she's going on about? 
Fret not, Luke. Why won't you let me do the talking here? Tears like crying. Yeah, but I say tears like tears. The kingdom is falling like teardrops. Sorry, the kingdom is falling like teardrops. <laughs> oh, it did not work. Fine, I have to refine my powers. I'll work on it. <laughs> Yippee! I'm excited for that game, but also I haven't seen anything from it because I don't like watching trailers for things that I really want to watch or play. <laughs> Yippee! All I've seen is that one thing where Link is like grinding down a rail. Which makes me laugh because, yes, we got um, Sonic of the Wild last year and now we've got <laughs> Link's Adventure 2 this time. <laughs> and that makes me happy. As long as Crush 40 do some tracks for the soundtrack. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, Miss Riddleton, but by clairvoyant, do you mean you s to say you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of crowd or visualize the location of lost objects? Pshaw! Psh, any fortune teller can do that. What if, uh, what if you could see a few days into the future? Big whoop! My speciality, you see, is puzzles. Puzzles people forgot about. Puzzles people miss? Surely your boys have had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red. It happens to the best of puzzlers. Uh, what I do, you see, I take those poor, basically, all the failed puzzles that we missed by skipping forward chapters and stuff go into this little hut. And that's not interesting. And I'm not good enough at a southern accent to continue that bit, so fuck off, Granny. Where's the inn? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh. There's no way we can show our faces to the manor until we find some sort of clue. We must continue to investigate. I can agree more, Professor. Great, we're not allowed that way. <laughs> okay, I've settled on a spam and onion sandwich. But I need to let the bread defrost so I can't lunch yet. You had me with the spam and then lost me completely with the onion. What the fuck? <laughs> Is the onion cooked? I love Spam. Spam's banging. But I can't imagine putting onions in a sandwich. Although you are a food connoisseur and I respect your your craft, but everything about that <laughs> makes me want to yell. <laughs> oh, I skipped out. Where am I? There I am. Oh god, I'm closing everything. There we go. Cooked onion. Is it red or is it white? Where's the bloody inn? I don't remember. What do you want? I'm going to finally talk to her. I'm sorry, young lady, but can you help us? We're looking for someone and you... And... What? Sorry, I can't help you. And by can't, I mean I don't want to. White. White! Imagine I'm Lord Farquaad and I'm pointing. White! Just like that. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting sandwich choice. I respect you. But I am slightly horrified. <laughs> Big sip. I barely even talked to Ramon, and I'm not even remotely interested in his search. <laughs> but maybe if you help me solve this puzzle, I might just remember, you know, remember something. <laughs> and just who do you think you are, young lady? I'm having hot dogs for lunch. Fuck yeah. Hot dog. I love a hot dog. Hot dogs are, are trash in the most delicious way. <laughs> I love a hot dog. My mom's making the rolls. <gasps> Ooh, hell yeah. Yo, fresh bread is banging. <laughs> I want a hot dog. I'm just jealous. B, I treasure you. I'm not jealous of your lunch. I'm sorry. I am jealous of the hot dogs, though. I have this thing, so whenever, like... I'm just cooking for myself instead of for the family and stuff. I will buy the most trash food ever. And last time I had that opportunity, I did make chili dogs for myself because I wanted to live my Sonic the Hedgehog fantasy. And fucking hell, that was banging. I recommend chili dogs to everyone. <laughs> let me live my lie. I will let you live your lie, B. <laughs> oh dear. We don't have any crispy onions, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I never really understood crispy onions, but then you get the um, the sushi platters from Asda, and I have the crispy, spicy one. And that's covered in crispy onions. I didn't realise that's what that was. 
But Jesus Christ, they're good. <laughs> I love chili dogs. I love chili dogs too. They're so good. I couldn't find real chili in Tesco's because I was in the wrong aisle. So I got like this little punnet of like um, Wicked Kitchen vegan chili that was like made from jackfruit and that was so good. <laughs> but yeah, love chili. Love chili dogs. Love to be Sonic the Hedgehog. I kind of miss cinema hot dogs. Those were disgustingly good. Cinema hot dogs are so good bad but they're great you missed it but there was a point where they had chili cheese hot dogs at the cinema where there was like a cheese core in the middle of the hot dog and those were so good <laughs> i love i love the cheap meats cheap meat is delicious i li actually literally last week and i want to make some more just for chili dogs do it do it do it do it do it do it chili dogs are so good <laughs> this is a chili dog positive stream Fuck, I'm hungry. <laughs> and just who do you think you are, young lady? I'm so excited. I said this before, but there's food trucks. There's like a little food truck festival happening soon in our town. And I'm so excited for food truck food. Food tastes better when it comes out of a truck. I don't know why. <laughs> and I hope they have some kind of chili dog or something. <laughs> oh yeah, they're in a style with German hot dog with cheese in the middle. I love them. Yes! They're so good. I feel like everything needs a goopy core. <laughs> That sounds nice, actually. Yeah! They were so good. They're so good. They're so good. Because then after that, I got into a habit. Because they got rid of the chili cheese hot dogs. I got into a habit of buying a cheese dip for the nachos and putting that on the hot dog. <laughs> That's also really good. Kind of a food crime, I think. Kind of a food crime. Hello, Slash Life. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? <laughs> we are playing Professor Layton. But I'm kind of bad at it so currently we're discussing hot dogs i hope you're having a good day <laughs> uh corson reina is the name of a uh, casa reina casa reina it could be an aina casa reina um <laughs> the type of hot dog with a goopy cheese in the middle fuck yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah i want hot dog <laughs> ba 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 oh yeah we're gonna do a puzzle <laughs> Puzzle the aliens. From uh, high in the sky, a pair of aliens observe humans using a bizarre object. Perplexed, one of the aliens turns to the other and asks, How strange, the earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it. What could these extraterrestrial... What? Do I literally just have to type in a word? Oh no, not this again. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't make me want a Gizesh now. I'm not a big fan of cheese and a sausage, personally. Everyone knows about cheesy hot dogs. I love a cheesy hot dog. <laughs> slash Life, how would you like to be referred, by the way? I'm a good queen, Slash. And any pronouns? I, I would like to know. <laughs> you're, you're fine. You can, you can chill. You can chat. I appreciate you swinging by. <laughs> but yeah. Opening a hole in a sheet of paper, marking it with a line to show the other her things where the hole is. I've never seen anything else like it. It can't just be like a map, right? Opening a hole in a sheet of paper. And mark it with a line to show the other her things where the hole is. Bruh, what? <laughs> is it a map? I don't know why a map would have a hole in it. Slash is just fine. Identify as he, but I frankly don't care too much about how to be addressed on Twitch. Fair? I love the attitude. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yes, I hope you, have, uh, hope you are having a wonderful day. <laughs> and I appreciate you swinging by. Are you a fan of the Professor Layton series? This is the first time playing them properly, and it turns out all of us are stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, and feel free to chip in with puzzles. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know why I would have a hole in it. Oh god, not this again. I really struggled with doing typing wizard in here earlier. Like, last stream. And I feel like... Okay, okay. It might happen again. A map. I'm pro slash kick right now, so unfortunately I must encourage Yawash... I don't know how you pronounce this. Is J a ya sound? I suppose I thought wrong. Yawash search. I played Catriel, to my knowledge, the newest part. Funny concept. 
Not sure whether I uh, want to actually play for the remainder of the series. Oh no! <laughs> I... In like, yeah, cases like that, it's it's normally quite smart to just like, wait for like reviews and stuff to come in. Kind of get a feel of like, the vibe before investing in something. I don't know if that's necessarily applicable, I realised, but you know. <laughs> Games are expensive. And they shouldn't be. Well, they should. But they shouldn't be. <laughs> Whatever. Earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show other Earthlings where the hole is. Am I an alien? Because this shit don't make no sense to me. Metro Prime is worth the $35. Everyone assumes I'm a Metroid fan. It happened at work the other day as well and stuff. I've never played a Metroid game. But everyone is so hyped about Metroid Prime and I feel like, do I have to engage in Metroid? <laughs> I'd assume you were too. I don't understand why do people get this assumption. I'm not a sci-fi girl. <laughs> sci-fi has to be very specific and small. Like a very small encased universe for me to be interested in it. Because once stuff gets too like expansive, I lose interest. So I like Portal. Portal's one of my favourites because it's literally two people. <laughs> You know? Oh. Oh, also the pronunciation of is roughly Yawasha. I can see that now. I don't know how to pronounce things. I've been learning Swedish, so in my head I was trying to think how you say that in Swedish. <laughs> Nurture is literally go to the planet, kill these bug aliens. See, aliens, I'm not a huge fan of aliens. Because there's too many of them. You've made a universe where there's aliens in it. Who else knows what's, what else is out there? <laughs> Super Metroid and Prime are the best. Ink twisting. I do have a few on my PS Classic um, <laughs> that uh, I was looking into. Looking into, so we'll see. I might be a Metroid girly because some of them I know. Which one is Metroid Prime? Is that the one where it's like first person, uh, or is that the one where it's side scrolly? I think my thing is is I'm bad at platformers, but I like Sonic. And Sonic is kind of making me want to do more platformers. <laughs> Aliens are for kissing, not for killing. Exactly, B gets it. <laughs> Prime is the first person one. Okay. Can you control it? Because it looks, from what I've seen, it looks kind of rail shootery. Or is that just how the camera works? I don't know. <laughs> I, I should look into Metroid. Because Sam is pretty. And Ridley looks cool. And Mother Brain is just like a cool fucking goop in a jar, right? And that's sick. Anyway. <laughs> I still don't understand though. A hole in a sheet of paper marking it with a line to show the other earthlings where the hole is. Give me a hint. Even something as common as paper can look bizarre to someone who's never seen it before. What kind of device puts holes in a paper? It must have a needle or a sharp point to it. Fully controllable game, no rails. Oh. I don't know what I was looking at. Oh no, I do. Penny Parker Snapcube was streaming it, and I think I saw a bit of that, and I don't think I was paying much attention. I think that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'll look into Metroid Prime. I'll look into it, because, yeah. People generally have a good judge of what I'm into most of the time, and if y'all think I'm really into it, then I'm probably already into it. <laughs> I just don't know it yet. Hell yeah. What kind of device puts holes in paper? It must have a needle and a sharp point to it. Opening a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other things what the hole is. What's got a sharp point to it? I'm so confused. Oh, as far as the description, I'm going, I'm scrolling back up so I know the pronunciation. One second. <laughs> Yawasha. Okay. As for, as for the description, Yawasha are a kind of wiener, but significantly longer, a bit thicker, more smoky, but in return, a bit less snappy bite. Ooh, your perfect sausage is cut up into slices for a nice bowl of potato soup. Oh, yo, that sounds so good. <laughs> I like a, I like a good sausage. I've been listening to off-menu podcasts because I like that and they talk about food a lot and apparently the difference between like English sausages and Irish sausages is how much snap it has and now when I eat a sausage I think way too much about how much snap it has <laughs> and I feel like I'm now in a place where I can appreciate a Yawasha. I forgot how you pronounced it already. <laughs> Yawasha. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I mean, Sam is pretty, that's your number one reason there. But yeah, but she's not pretty until the end of the first one. She takes her helmet off and reveals that she is very pretty. 
and experience a new kind of ad, which is just an audio ad? What the fuck? I fully endorse people using an ad blocker, <laughs> even on my streams. <laughs> Because I don't need y'all hearing about the new Far Cry or whatever the fuck those ads are. Is there a new Far Cry game? I don't care. Okay. What was the ad for? I'm curious now. <laughs> ad blocker, stop working for my ads. Oh, really? Working for me for some ads, it seems. That's really strange. Which version of ad blocker do you have? I'm on mobile, which is why it happened. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I saw a thing where someone get going, getting like three seconds of a Spotify ad for an audiobook. For every song that was just a man saying, the goblins have awakened. <laughs> I would love it if every time I'm about to like start an album on Spotify, it just the goblins have awakened. <laughs> oh my god. Just go on perfectly time for your response as well. What the fuck? I'm sorry for all the ads. What time? How long are we live for? That's strange. That's really strange. Because I thought they would be like hourly, but we're past that point. The Goblin have awakened! You block Origin with pretty strict rule sets. I need to whitelist everything manually. I think I have you block, you block Origin as well. That's really strange. Hmm. Unless you feel like a voiceover service talking fast, I think. That's really strange. I hate ads. I hate the fact that you can't say no to a bunch of stuff now on the internet. You have to say not now. Or like mute this for like 30 days. I'm like, no. Just, no. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's really annoying. <gasps> Yippee! I still don't know what the answer is, though. <laughs> Maybe we should mark it with this line. Should you have the other things by the holes? I've never seen anything like it. What can we wish? What are you talking about? I'm missing out on the internet, but then everything was a virus back then. True. Do you remember those days when um, you'd have pop-up banners down the side of your web pages that would have sound, and it'd be like, "You just want a giveaway for a free iPhone or whatever fuck," <laughs> or that one where it'd be like the duck targets so and you had to shoot them. Remember when ads, like banner ads, would have noise? Hey, that shit. I'd pick a virus over Elon's Twitter. Fair. Fair. Back in my day, I remember when we used to defrag the computer and it would take all day and I would just sit there and look at the colourful blocks just compressing and that shit was so satisfying to me. I would take any like I would take any virus so I can look at that shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And as I said, it seems to be some ads only. At the moment it seems only Twitch ads I get are German insurance ads. Oh, in a format of a still screen with an image and some static info text but take spoken text and some kind of media player visualization of audio what the fuck is going on with twitch right now <laughs> that's so strange I go oh yeah the say something yeah <laughs> I remember the say something ad god thing is I didn't have speakers on my pc when I was a child <laughs> I think the first time I had speaker sound um I bought them on purpose because I wanted to watch anime. <laughs> that was over Newgrounds in my space. Yeah. Good times. Good times. God, I really, I've been trying to teach myself HTML and I really want to start a Neo Cities. I really want to just feel that, that nostalgia again. I was a MySpace girly. I had the best theme in the world. And I also had a really good Tumblr theme, but then Tumblr has changed everything to mobile only and I, it's ruined my theme and I'm upset. <laughs> I have two Neo City pages, fuck yeah, hell yeah. One for me, one for my Steamed Hams manga. <laughs> have you seen the Steamed Hams um, AI generated stream? It's great. Turns out it's pre-recorded. Which is kind of good because it means that it kind of stays on topic as opposed to the science battle one that got kind of <laughs> but hell yeah i love steam hams steam hams is still funny still good i don't care still good to me and then the other day jess was like i saw the aurora borealis it finally came to the town i was so happy and then my head was like located entirely within your kitchen like <laughs> god damn okay i don't know the answer to this 
And I feel like we've talked enough about sausages and Metroid Prime that I have, I deserve to look up the answer. Say something. Number 45. Yes. This one also has a UK version. What the fuck? Oh, really? Apparently it's a compass. Earthling is opening a hole in the sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other Earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it. Bestie. I was thinking compass when I said needle, but I was thinking like a directional compass. But apparently the spiky little compasses that you use for... Why does this always do this? <laughs> for like a maths is the answer. That's so weird. Is that how you spell compass? I think so. Luke, That's so strange. <gasps> Yippee! Another puzzle solved. That's so stupid. But you don't make a hole in the page. I mean, you make a little hole in the page. Oh, I've fucked up my capture a little bit. Oh, I don't care. Tee hee 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 hee! You know, I heard that if you aren't careful working around Sig Mystery at night, you can run into trouble. I bet Ramon wasn't being trouble. I've changed the voice. She's now an anime girl. What exactly do you mean? She's fucking gone! Where was the inn? <laughs> Still don't remember. What do you want, old man? Oh goodness, whatever shall I do? Do we have do we have a map? Like a proper map? We haven't looked in here in the slightest. Oh in. We can't go in this way, can we? Here comes Joel and make it down with meows. Exactly. I am a big Team Rocket fan. And I think they should get a standalone uh, Slice of Life anime. <laughs> I haven't actually gone into this menu in the slightest. I I don't care. I don't care. I want to I wanna play puzzles. I want to make a puzzle. Aw, yeah, baby. Perfect. Give me this shit. Get up there. Aw, yeah. Fuck. Nice. Nope. I realize I don't care. <laughs> okay. Where is the inn? If we don't find the inn in the next two minutes, I am going to finish the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not allowed to go this way, because he yells at me. Town hall. This is the witch's house, right? Yeah. Can I come... Can I back out further? I think it's actually out here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I remember now. <laughs> I'm smart. Hello there, boys. Turning in for the night already? Not quite. I heard word that you found a wristwatch out by the entrance of the park. Oh, that odd thing? Does it belong to you, Professor? Oh no, it's Gerard's. He dropped it today while wandering about town and asked me to go help him find it. Why am I not surprised? That old man sheds more stuff than a cat sitting by a fireplace. Alright then, here's that watch. You know, if it figures that it belongs to Gerard. What? I was right in thinking to myself, the Professor is far too fashionable to wear this thing. Ha ha ha. Thank you very much. Yippee! Ah yes, out of curiosity, you haven't seen a Ra Ramon around town, have you? Ramon? That skinny man with the big purple lips? That's a bit rude. No, he hasn't come by today. But you know, for all his fancy clothing, I hear he's actually quite the lie about. He's probably off idling at the cafe. Why not check on him there? I see. If that's the case, I'd like to go to the cafe right away. Do you mind keeping the front door open a little longer? Oh, don't you worry, Professor. I realise this is just Luke's voice again. <laughs> Another guest just arrived to stay in, the, uh, stay in the night and I'm setting up his room. Besides, my door is always open for a dashing gentleman such as yourself. Who's staring at the inn? I thought it seemed unnatural that... Well, unusual that weird visitors at the inn. Do you think it's the Dracula guy? I hope so. Okay. Where was my cafe? I... Don't remember. <laughs> Is it this one? Chip.
No! I don't want to talk to you, witch. Where was it? Are you a cafe? I think I'm done here. I'm done. I'm hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> I've hit my threshold of two hours. <laughs> I don't have the the, the chutzpah, a certain je ne sais quoi, to keep going <laughs> at the moment. So, big stretch. Big stretch for everyone. I don't actually know how long it takes to complete this game. I'll have to look into that. Um, I did a great job. Thanks. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I managed to keep it going because about 10 minutes in, I was like, this, is this worth it? Can I work it? Can I get my thing down, flip it, and reverse it? I think I answered my question. I can for two hours <laughs> and 15 minutes. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for swinging by. Next stream's going to be on Saturday. I haven't quite figured out what it is or what time, but if there's anything that people want to see, give me a shout because options are there. Um, uh, one thing I have been working on is I don't actually know does that work that does work uh, I have a VOD archive and I am currently working on overhauling uh, all the thumbnails with custom art so if anyone wants to watch any previous streams go over there and look at my little doodles because I like drawing the wizard character in funny outfits um <laughs> peg two nope peg will take. listen I should have a PS uh, PS4 no I should have my Xbox by then so I might do a celebratory Peggle stream, maybe. You did this. You will listen to the universe. I will play Peggle again. Fuck it. Peggle stream on Saturday. <laughs> B did it. B did it. Um, Yeah. Okay. See everyone on Saturday. I appreciate you. I'm blowing everyone a big old kiss. Everyone have a good rest of the week. Thank you everyone for swinging by. I'm going to go eat a sandwich. I need to go to a shop and buy some milk. It's hell of a. It's going to be a hell of a day. Play what you want, honestly, ultimately. Um, the thing is, the thing is, uh, my brain is made of Swiss cheese. And I'm bad at making decisions, so if anyone wants to make them for me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the stream, everyone. Have an astonishing day. Thank you so much for swinging by, Slash. It's nice to see new faces, and I appreciate you. I also appreciate you, Law. I appreciate Rose for hanging out. I appreciate Slay. All of you are incredible. I hope everyone has an incredible week and a good time zone. And everyone has a delicious snack. As long as it's a hot dog. That's your homework for the next stream. Everyone has to have a hot dog. Okay? Because it will be on the test. Okay, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm blowing everyone a big old kiss. Just like that. Bye.